found my next guest in this book right here, Offbeat Museums. This gentleman is the curator of the Museum of Questionable Medical Devices, a museum in Minneapolis that's dedicated to lies, deceptions, and mistruths. Please welcome Bob McCoy. Bob, thanks for being Thank here. Thank you. Glad to be here. Good to have you. Now, you have here, these are all real products that were sold. That's correct. And then uh, someone stopped the madness. Someone in a medical association said, we can't sell this. This is just wrong. That's correct. Let's tell us, tell us well, what this, this is. this is something you like. This is a prostate gland warmer. It was patented in 1918. Let me see this right here. Yes, it's supposed to excite a man's abdominal brain. Yes, well, it would get something going, I would think. <laughs> what, uh, th th this part, which part is inserted? This part. Uh, okay. This part. <laughs> okay, all right. And the, the idea was that this would stimulate? The stimulate a man's abdominal brain to make him more sexually healthy. Okay, all right. So they thought there was an abdominal brain where? In the prostate? In the rectum, yes. Okay, don't say rectum. Um, <laughs> You'll pay for that. What is this right here? Well, this is for the ladies. This is a foot-operated breast enlarger pump. All right. Here we go. <laughs> In, uh, the are, you, are you applauding the concept? <laughs> what? what is this? This is, this was, what, what year was this uh, put out? In the 1970s, three million of these were sold to American women. It's working. <laughs> <laughs> I have breasts. Well, it's, it's too I like the sound, too. <laughs> well, so a woman, was the idea that a woman could uh, put this on the floor, and pump it with her foot. She had right. a couple different sizes to try out. Right, okay. How many, what was the biggest it got? Well, this is the biggest one. Oh, all right. And, uh... <laughs> get a salad bowl out there. <laughs> but you'd put this on, operate this, and the That's breasts correct. would grow. Did it work at all? No, it caused bruising and the enlargement was not lasting. Okay, all right. <laughs> You've inspected this yourself, I can see. We've had what? people try it out. This is the newest thing we have. This is called the Trilby Model 25 Nose control. What, what, what would this, what, what year did this come out? 1925. It's supposed to straighten out your nose. Okay, and you'd put this on, and you how would it work? put it on. We have a, we have a wrench here oh. to tighten the nuts that are up there, to press against various parts of your brown nose to straighten it out. Right, and did this work? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's kind of got like a Silence of the Lambs feel about well, it. Well, a lot of people... <laughs> were you supposed to wear this to work, and it would adjust your nose while you were doing other things? Well, usually at nighttime, you'd put it on before you go to bed, or when you were reading, you'd just have that on. You're supposed to leave it on at least 30 minutes a day. It sold for a dollar in 1925. Okay. What is this device right here? Uh, this looks exciting. This is the blood rub. This is a device used in barber shops to make hair grow. Would you like a treatment? It's for the, it makes your hair grow? Yes. Yeah, sure. Put this on your head like that. And, uh, <laughs> how does that feel? <laughs> Wait one second. <laughs> this is incredible. You guys have got to try this. <laughs> and and this, this does absolutely nothing, right? Well, it probably did more damage. I can't shut it off. <laughs> <laughs> it probably did right. more damage and help. Okay. Uh, this right here, what was this? This is a Solarama bedboard. This is the most incredible low-tech device we have. It looks like floor tile. What you can't see, it has a very special chemical coating. When you plug this in, slip it under your mattress, it regenerates missing organs, regrows missing limbs, cures high blood pressure, brain tumors, eases the pain of childbirth. It regenerates missing limbs? Yes, it has a special, this chemical coating on the outside affects it. You get into bed at night with your stump, and when you grow up in the morning, <laughs> you have a leg? Is that what they were promising? Well, you can take it home and try it if you want to. <laughs> how, how were they able to sell this over the air? In 1976, they sold 150,000 of these at $150 a piece by mail. So people are morons. That's the basic idea. Well, they're gullible, too. Okay. Now, what is this right here? Uh, this, looks... this is the famous phrenology machine. You know what that is? We can tell your personality by the bumps on your head. That was a concept in the late 19th century. They thought if, if they just measure little bumps on your head, they can tell what kind of person you are? Oh, this really works. Sit down, and I'll show you. Okay, you're insane. Uh, I sit right here? Look straight ahead. Now, okay. it's going to measure the bumps on your head and print out a paper tape tell all about your personality in 30 seconds. You ready for this? Oh, this feels uh, kind of weird, actually. Well, you... Are those needles <laughs> going into my head? What no. is that? <laughs> They're little contact points. Okay. Here we go now. All right. Okay, that kind of hurts. Well, it's coming up. We're rating your You're character. Are you getting actual data from <laughs> yes, my head? Yes, we're getting actual data from your head. Well, okay. you're a complicated young man. All right. Says you won't take advice from anybody. That's true. And uh, you got to work on your sexual enthusiasm. All right, you listen. Got it too, <laughs> I don't feel particularly <laughs> sexy right now. Maybe that's the problem. Well, it says cultivate your erotic nature. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. And yeah. you need to widen your range of friends also. Did you hear that, Andy? <laughs> <laughs> he said, widen my range of friends. Oh, this all stuff right. Is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this That's is all a, about you in 30 seconds. All right. And any of this true? Well, I thought the things I said were pretty true. The sexual stuff is right on the mark. Yeah. And you like Ray Lee, but you wouldn't mind moving. Right. You like to argue an awful lot. That's not true. You have a great sense of dignity. <laughs> yeah. You have a great sense of dignity. You love right. <laughs> You appreciate your own self-esteem. I appreciate myself very and much, And your yeah. approbation is a little, little high. You do like fame and esteem. You may want to tone that down just a little bit. I think we're solving that problem right now. <laughs> Hey, listen, uh, this stuff is really fascinating. Do you have more stuff you can come back with sometime? About 225 more items. Bob McCoy, give him a hand, everybody. Yeah.